Good morning and welcome back to Subsistence. Right. So it looks like it's going to be, is it going to be a stormy day? Is it going to be a nice day? I can't quite tell. But in any case, we've got some stuff to do today. No, have I lost the fire? No, the fire's okay. Uh, we're doing well for food. Um, yeah, I've got fuel brick and I've got two lock picks after yesterday's um, mistake. That was such a shame. Oh dear, that really was a shame. I think I'm going to put that on to refine. I'm going to turn the generator on. What is the power at the moment? Hmm. It's a bit of a waste because we've uh, we've got the power from the base, obviously, uh, add into uh, add into our total. So let's have a look at what we've got built so far. I think um, we need to get a little bit of work done on the structure. Um, I'm quite happy with the entrance. I think that works out very nicely. Oh, there's a bit of iron there. I think it's uh, only right that we get that little bit of iron. Nice, okay. Is there any more? There is likely to be some more. Did that uh, piece from yesterday stick around? The one that was over here? Let's have a look. Might be a bit safer to have a look today. No, it's gone. It's good to know we can get down here though and have a look. There's a, a moose down there. Hello. You're looking at me. <laughs> I can see a crate over there already. A couple of crates and some scrap. I think we should probably get out and uh, grab those while it's quiet. Yeah, so we uh, we need to... Actually, this is this is not a bad thing to do. I need to get down here and have a look at what the base looks like from the side. It's difficult to tell when you're actually sort of sat on top of it just where the legs are and, you know, how much room you've got, that kind of thing. So from a distance, you get a bit of a different perspective. So let's have a look from this uh, this rock here. That's looking pretty good actually. We've got a lot of room on this side. Now this area, um, I do want to build a bridge across here eventually um, and bridge over to this rock as well. And the other side, I want to do the, the same thing. I want to bridge over to the other rock. Um, that might be a bit of a later game thing, but it's certainly something I'd uh, like to try. I do love the way the um, the ore breaks apart and leaves debris in the world now. I think that's a nice feature. Okay, let's stand in the water and top that up. Right, and let's have a look on the other side. Oh, that moose scared me then. Why did you do that to me, moose? Oh my goodness, trying to... Oh, trying to ruin my day. Right, okay. Let's grab these little bits of oars as well. We've got a bear behind us. <laughs> bear behind. Um, yeah, so I just need to be careful of him approaching. If he's making his way towards the base, it could make it a bit tricky to get back up. Actually, with that in mind, we probably should think about putting another entrance uh, somehow. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I don't have a lot more room here. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. That is somewhere where we could definitely bring the bridge across to this area. Oh, look at that. It's almost just spawned in right in front of me. That's cool. Very nice. Okay, let's get off this rock and let's go around and have a look at the base from the front, from the riverside. And then I need to stop uh, messing about and try and get some resources and get something done today. Yeah, so this, this side's pretty much... Um, I've kind of covered... Yeah, nothing's hanging in the air, is it? Everything looks like it's nicely embedded. In the rock, as it should be. Yep, good, nothing hanging in the air. 
yeah that's good I'm happy with that but we do have some room to uh, expand so that's good now where did that bear go this area as I said I've said this in one of the previous videos this area just brings back so much nostalgia oh look at the bear he's, uh, he's claimed that rock as his own has he okay you know I wouldn't be surprised looking at the way that bear's done that to come back one day and find a bear up here on the platform. I need to get some walls up, I think. Right, let's put a few of these uh, these ores away. Look how much um, iron we've got. Wow. I don't think I've ever quite had that much iron. Um, we'll drop the water in there. We'll keep that one on us. And... Hmm. Let's put everything else away. We've got some scrap and that and that. Um, what was it that we wanted to do next, I wonder? We can walk around here now safely. Yep, you're fine. Okay. Um, so we'll drop you in there. We've got four fishing tackle. We've got a couple of berries, some protein. Lots of um, fuel bricks. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop that fuel brick in there and let's head out now and go and do some looting um, I don't know really what I fancy building next um, we need materials so let's just get out there and, and gather some stuff and have a little little look around so there's a crate over there which unfortunately we can't reach because of that bear but there's a, a lot of scrap here um, nice couple of pieces of scrap to start the day. We've got a wolf over on the left. Um, let's go up up here a bit, I think. Oh, no, there's something that way. Alright, let's grab this uh, crate. Oh, there's a couple here, actually, and some more scrap. That's good. Plants, plants, scrap something under this tree nice okay wow really good loot this morning another bit of scrap um yeah that's not bad at all can't complain there's more loot over on the right there's um, berries here good um that bear yeah okay he's gonna hang around all day by the look of it that's fine it's a nice place to hang out i always did love this area i think it was just um spending so much time around here in that first and very memorable season really enjoyed that game. you know playing this game for the first time learning it and experimenting with um, building and learning to uh, kill the animals and then finally getting the courage to um, take on the hunters and just how nervous I was just how worried I was it was amazing really good experience Okay. Now I've got to be careful because this is cougar, cougar area. I think that's a wolf there. Um, how much? Uh, I've got four arrows on me. So um, I think I'll avoid that chicken for the moment. Let's see, let's see how much scrap we can gather. No, there is a cougar. You know what I'd love to see is the cougar going after a wolf. Oh, wouldn't that be awesome? Could you imagine them chasing chasing each other across the map? So I'm just sort of tootling along, you know, rounding the corner on the uh, on the cliff face and all of a sudden a wolf goes streaking past me and a cougar's chasing it. Now that would be something special to witness. And there could be a chance that occasionally um, the wolf breaks off to look at you you know to come after you or maybe the cougar does the same but you're never quite sure what's going to happen that'd be some nice um nice ai 
to incorporate, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm being careful around here because this is one of the directions that our hunters could have built in. So, um, yeah, I just want to I just want to establish where they are and then steer well clear. Um, I really want to get some building done, but I haven't actually gathered any wood yet. I realise. Um, and this is a really tricky area to see all around you, to see um, anything approaching, so very easy to stumble onto something. Looks like the animals aren't around here right now though, so that's good. I'm going to get this bit of wood. There is a crate just there, which means there's probably another crate. And we've got two lockpicks on us, so if we could find a lock crate that would be good make up for the uh, the fact that I missed out on that one yesterday by just not going over and clicking the button to see if it would open. Could have saved myself a load of hassle there. Let's have that onion. Raw onion. My eyes would be streaming there. Unless it's one of those nice mild um, sandwich onions. Um, that you can get. This. We call them Spanish onions in the UK. Now I want a cheese and onion sandwich. Anyway, <laughs> it is lunchtime. Um, right, okay, we've got some ore. Um, right. Everything looks a little bit different. But I need to go down there. Uh, there's a lot crate. Right, good going to say there's definitely going to be one round here somewhere. Right, we'll gather you first then. Well that looks like a pretty good lock crate. Yeah some uh, yeah some very very good useful things there. Um, okay can we get uh, these crates safely? Yeah I don't think there's anything around. It's a little bit quiet it's sort of putting me on edge because it is so quiet. But I think we're doing all right. Yep, shotgun shells. There's a bear just over there. Is that another lock crate? That might be. No, it's um, it's a health crate. That's okay then. Phew. From back there, that just looks so dark, and the angle of it made it look very flat. So it, uh, to me, it just looked a little bit lock crateish. <gasps> Finally, a match. I think that's the first one we've found. There is a plant behind me. Um, I'm going to get this tree before this bear decides to sort of make his way over. He is really close. Which I'm not too happy with, but... Okay, let's go. Yeah, that was a, a rabbit. Uh, okay, berries. We're looking for berries. And plants, of course. Fibre. Would be lovely to find another lock crate. We've got the lock pick on us. But the one thing I don't want to do is run into... Um, run into any rogues or uh, hunters, so... Uh, let's think. Let's go for the shotgun. Keep that out. Let's slow it down a little bit. Now this is another grey area down here, but as I haven't been around here for a little, well, in this playthrough yet, I don't know where anybody's situated, so there's a lot of all. Um, there is a wolf down here, which could make things a little bit more complicated. Yeah, I thought so. Got two growls there. Well, here's a crate. Let's let's snip back and get this. We've gone out of the range of that wolf, so with any luck, he will have moved. Um, there's plenty of ore around, it's not like we're desperate for it, but... 
Okay. Right, number five. I think I've got my um, my guns and things in the wrong spaces. It's kind of putting me off a little bit. Right, okay, let's have a look down here now. Have you moved around a little bit? Usually makes them sort of walk off, so... It's probably just below the uh, the rock face. Yeah, he's still nearby, isn't he? Sniff, sniff, sniff. Let's have something to eat because I realise we probably need that. And then we can be ready to run if necessary. Okay, well we've got that one. There's a bear a bit too close as well, so... Right, look, I'm going to just run down here now. I am too close. Yep, here he, there he goes. <laughs> but we'll run down here and see if we can see a, uh, a lock crate. Just got to be careful that there aren't any um, hunters around here. This is one of the areas that they could set up, of course. And there's a bear there. Um, I might just take a little detour around this, uh, these rocks here. Got plenty of stamina, so why why not? Um, okay, got to be careful. Prime, rogue, and uh, hunter territory, definitely, especially as the days are, are ticking on now. Um, right, we've got scrap over there. We've got some plants. Okay, let's just check just over the hill. Down here in these trees is normally a great um, little location for a spawn as well, a lot crate spawn. So we've got a bear there. Right, we've got um, plants and I, I really have just run past lots of stuff today, but oh, there's so much loot. It's been a, it's been a very good loot day. Can't complain at all about the loot. There's almost too much of it around the place. It's very distracting. Um, right, okay. Another grey area for look crates. So let's have a little look around. We'll go down into uh, this little bit of the valley. Um, good, nothing here. Nope. Let's get a good view all the way around. Um, first quick glance, it looks empty, so let's kind of carry on a little bit to see if there's anything up here. Uh, are you noticing? Oh, here we go. Lock crate. Right, second lock crate of the day. Hmm. Um, I'm a bit worried about what's going to happen here if I take everything. Um, let's see what we can carry. Pistol, pistol, thing, yeah, yeah, good things. And we're going to have to leave something unless I eat you. And then that's everything, isn't it? Awesome. What a great loot day compared to yesterday where we forgot that we had a lock pick on us and walked right past a um, lock crate without even trying it. Oh, I don't think I'll ever get over that. Oh well. Made up for it today, I think. Let's make our way back to the base, I think. Um, maybe stop in to get a little bit of wood along the way. That might be a good idea. Have we got room to carry wood? Yes, we've got some wood on us anyway. Right, where's a good spot? Let's try here. We'll just grab every tree on the way back just as the... Uh, the rest of the daylight allows. Yes, so I think uh, I think we've done well today. The um, medicinal tonic is a great help. We'll get a um, um, antidote made to make up for the one we had to use when the uh, wolf jumped on us and sort of uh, 
I misfired across his head. We've got some more sinew, so that will help greatly with making the combat vest and the helmet. We'll get that done. Uh, we just need a bit of padded cloth. Um, so I think we've got some cotton growing. We've got some lovely uh, tomato seeds. Um, some more aloe sheets. This is all good stuff. It's a really good haul. Um, so we're doing okay on everything. But we've got a few gears as well. I shouldn't have bought the um, fishing rod out really. That's a bit of a waste of space. We'd have had a little bit more room but as it stands we're doing okay. Still got to keep my ears open just in case we come across any rogues going on um, going towards the lake here for fishing. Just because they're not camped around here doesn't mean they're not going to travel across the map. I do think that's a fantastic uh, little mechanic in the game now. Just mixing stuff up that you you know you can't predict. Because on the whole, it's fairly easy to once you're used to them to avoid the animals and not not have them uh, too difficult to to work around but the um, stumbling onto um, rogues and hunters in unexpected places is just just awesome I really hope I'm not tempting fate now Um, I probably should be making planks right now so that when we get back we can do a little bit of quick building, quick and dirty building but yeah let's start a few of those going. I want to keep some. Is that all we've got? 55 wood. Oh my god. Let's make kind of that much and we'll grab a couple more trees and then we'll head back. We got some refined iron as well, so we only need to refine another eight iron and we can make another lockpick, so that's good. Get another lockpick on us for the next day. And let's hope when we get back to, uh, to our rock base that there isn't a bear hanging around so we can't actually get up, the, uh, get up onto our base. I really do need to sort of think of another e entrance um, which is why I was looking at building across to the rocks on either side of the base um, with a view that I will be able to run up to one of those and just cross across um, nice and safely. got now 30. This seems to be taking a long time to gather some wood today, do you not think? Mind you, I'm happy to say that this area is fairly, um, fairly quiet. There's these gorgeous uh, little crop of trees. Uh, we've got a wolf there maybe. Let's see. Could you imagine that you, um, you came up um, a slight slope on a hill, looked down towards your base and there were a group of hunters kind of milling around waiting to come and attack you. That would be, um, that would be funny. Got some crates here. Always go for the crates. We always need berries. What the hell's that? Right, okay, we've got medicinal plant seed. Am I really bothered about that? Um, I'm not really. I'm going to leave it. That's okay. Is that one empty? Right, I haven't got this one yet. Right. Okay, so first of all, oh, there's a there's a crate. Is that safe to get? There was something around here, an animal. 
a bear maybe or something let's see what's in here though nice we're doing better on the scrap now let's go and fill up water um we've got an ore here yep rude <laughs> god <laughs> that's just off isn't it that's hardly fair right okay water and i think the other one's on the fire that's okay yeah that's our base there let's get up onto the uh onto the rock we'll grab this one this one's not going to disappear hopefully nice okay this rock has just turned out to be superb for um um for or there we go right let's grab you let's water the plants it looks like things are ready to pick so we'll drop that in there and um i think i might go down and get some more water while it's a little bit quiet around here just in case we can't get back out there tonight as if the if the if all of the animals decide to you know be around our base this evening it will make doing anything quite difficult we need some walls we definitely need to get some walls oh dear right okay what should we do first let's put everything away first and see what we've got well we're overflowing on um, on nails um we've got nowhere for planks um uh, sinew we've got 16 sinew can you believe that right we're going to need seeds so let's pop everything else apart from seeds away um 25 nice that is very good and look seven uh, medicinal tonic okay um that definitely needs to go in there um and you and we've got no f planks well let's get the nails out and let's start making i don't know a couple of uh we need a doorway definitely so we'll get you done we're going to need a couple of windows um i might mm. let's think do I want to make that an outside balcony or do I want to put windows on there? I think I'm going to put windows, curved windows. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Cancel. Do that again. Curved windows. Two of you. And we've got some more nails. That's not a problem. And do I want curved windows there or do I want to make that my plant area? Where else have we got room? no room there we've got a little bit of room here that doesn't really fit any of our um space requirements for a plant bed does it i think i might make that one an outside balcony just move that plant bed over depends where the hunters are going to come and stand and fight so uh and then we're going to need a couple Oh, look how lovely. Sorry, I'm just distracted by just how nice it looks here. Um, let's put um, let's put this ore away. So we've got ten of you. We'll pop that on again to refine. Um, right, anyway, let's make... Let's stop messing about. Where is the door? Let's make a door. Um, all right, we're going to need a curved window for there oh is that all we've got we've run out of planks okay that's fine all right that'll be fine let's put you down here then all right so where do i want to put these things so definitely we're going to put some windows over here i reckon um five and push you away a little bit because it's a little bit too close up front here right and one over there i hate shutting it off to be honest that's why i'm kind of hesitating it's um it's so nice just having all of this open space that i uh, i really don't want to shut it off and hide things away now where would the door be better off um would it be better on this side or there i think 
I might, I think I've decided. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the door here and then I'm going to put a curved something there and this will be, I've put that the wrong way around haven't I? Hang on a second. Should be on the inside. Do that again. Like that. Yes, okay. So you come in here onto this thing and then into the base. Yes, that, that, that's better. That suits my uh, taste better. Um, okay, how many do we need for another curved wall with a window in? Do you want a window? We probably do. Five. Um, so we'll need four more planks. Good. Okay, let's uh, pick our cotton and tomatoes. Not quite everything is ready. And let's plant more tomatoes. And do we have any more cotton seeds? I would love to plant some more cotton. Yes. Right, cotton seeds. Um, just the one, that's fine. And another tomato seed and a potato. Yeah, we'll start stockpiling potatoes for making molotovs in the future. So that that's helpful. Um, let's drop the fertilizer in there. So you're all sorted. Um, let's pop the water there and we've got no fat. Okay. I'm going to need another storage chest, I think. Yeah, I think we'll need another storage chest. Okay, let's pop the door in. And which way do we want this to uh, to open? I don't want to back away from here because it will... That's it. That's the way I want that. That's fine. Right, um, wood walled, uh, curved window. And I'm going to make a few more planks because we're using fuel bricks now. So why not? So that'll be that closed off and then we need something here. Um, I reckon a window, just a straight windowed wall. One of those I reckon. Yeah that'll be good. Right okay let's get this one in as well. And this will be sort of a little... So you'll run up here and into the base. And we can see from there and we'll be able to see from here as well. I think that'll work. And then that is going to be our little outside balcony. So what we should probably do is move the plant bed over a little bit. All these changes. It's cool though. It's yeah, Everything might move again in the future but it's, it's nice just sort of getting out here and trying to get things placed and you know Oh, well there you go, that's weird. Almost timed out on me, didn't it? It took too long. Let's just put it there for now. I don't know if that's quite in the right spot, but still. So we need you and let's get the blue light stick and just have a look around. Um, number six, there we go. How does that look? That's sort of cockeyed, but that'll do for now. Okay. So we need a windowed wall and um, we've got some wood left, let's make some more planks. Might as well make all of it, why not? Good, okay. What have we got left in here now then? Um, so cotton, um, padded cloth. We definitely wanted more padded cloth. Um, let's see. So combat vest is three row and we've got enough now. Um, we need five padded cloth. If we've got three, padded cloth to make is three uh, cotton each and we've got, we could make a combat vest or are we better off getting a combat helmet? We'll need another four padded cloth. Which is more important? Combat vest. We do keep getting cold and the combat vest increases warmth. So should we go for that, I think? I think so. I think that's the right thing to do. Um, I think that's the right thing to do. It's kind of hard to tell, but... Well, I've done it now. 
God. Okay. We're going to go for it. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Um, right, nails. Um, 200 and thingy. Yep, that's fine. Let's pop you down here and place you so we can see what things look like. I don't know whether to put another door here instead of a window. I think this is a good, good little protected area, isn't it? And then we'll put another doorway here out onto the balcony. Yeah, that'll work. What else do we need then? Um, probably need a, a window, 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 window. And all of these things can be changed at a later date. Let's make two of you. Right, good. Right, we've got somewhere to put our food at least now. Which is nice. So we'll, uh, we'll just pop you in here and some seeds and, you know, whatever. Paddy cloth and combat vest. We need two of you. I think the combat vest is the right thing to do. Um, right, we're going to need rope. So let's make some rope as well. We're going to need three. One, two, three. That leaves us seven. And for the helmet, we'll need three. So we can definitely make a helmet as well once we get a little bit more paddy cloth. Okay. I'm going to make this episode just a little bit longer and just get these couple of things finished, I think. Yeah, so this will be the outside bit of the uh, the base, the balcony. And we'll put a door and a window. Put a window here, probably, and a door over here. But we do need to protect this equipment here. Well, we should put our fishing rod away. And we should definitely make another... Well, no, let's get the fishing rod out. We should definitely make another um, storage crate, that's something we desperately need. Um, feathers, do we need feathers for the combat vest? We do not. Um, we need to put you in here somewhere. Um, right, we could have our first tomato, that's awesome. And I'm afraid because we didn't do any hunting, I forgot. I'll have to eat protein bars for lunch or breakfast. That's okay. Right, good. We've got our um, two walls. Let's turn you off. And number six, we'll get you placed down here. Oh, let's get that like that. And then we'll have one here as well. There we go, and then we'll have the same that side on both sides. And then we just need to close off this area here. Um, and then I am probably going to, um, going to uh, want to put something up. I think I might go up a level as well. Right, let's put the uh, power and mass storage in this sort of um, area over here. I think uh, this makes sense. I don't think it will be in the way too much here. And it'll give us a little bit more room to sort of manoeuvre around. I'm going to put it kind of um, right in front here. Okay, good. Um, workbench can probably go under the window there. And I think this kind of space that we've got is going to be big enough for our needs for crafting. Um, and once we've got an upstairs obviously built as well. And I can still fire out of here if necessary. <laughs> you know, which is probably going to happen. Okay, that's good. I just want to clear the um, this area here. So I'll probably think about moving maybe this. Over to here, the other side of this. Um, we can rotate you, we can. 
And I think that's as good a place as any. That stops me kind of falling over the edge there as well. Yeah, that works, I reckon. Right, okay. What else? We need to make our combat vest. Nice. Oh, that's so good. Right, and we need some boards. We need more wood. Make some boards. Um, lots and lots to do. Let's move you down here because you're kind of a valuable thing. We'll keep those bandages on us and that'll give us a little bit more room. We'll put the cloth away. Um, we'll probably need to put that fertilizer in the plant beds anyway in a second. Um, do we want to make more cordage with the rest of this or more fuel bricks? I think cordage. I'll make one fuel brick maybe. Yes, fuel brick as well. Why not? Keep those coming in and let's put the combat vest on there we go and fishing um, guns down here fishing rod we've got our um berries i don't think we're going to need those I'll pop those in there just for now good um, i could actually drop that in there there we go that saves us a bit of room doesn't it right very well very good i'm really happy um we've made a really good um start on the sort of fleshing out the rest of the base let's grab a um a picture i think um let's think how do we want to do this probably like that and let's get me in the foreground hmm. Well, I can do that off camera. That's not a problem. So that's where I'm going to leave this episode. Next time round, I think we'll do a little bit more building. Um, we'll get some more wood, do a bit of looting. We'll maybe go and see what's happened to the hunters. Um, but uh, for now, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.